We finally know who will be joining Nick Saban in Nashville for 2023 SEC Media Days. We'll tell you all about it on this episode of Tide Talk Live. Welcome back in to another episode of Tide Talk Live. Stacey Blackwood here, riding solo today as we discuss the three players that Nick Saban will take with him to Nashville for 2023 SEC Media Days. So we'll talk about those three players and kind of what they mean to the Crimson Tide this year. Uh, and maybe if you're surprised by the choices that the coaching staff made to send there. But you know the drill. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe today. Uh, hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of the content here at Tide Talk Live. Find us on TikTok, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, uh, all the social media platforms. You can find us by simply searching for Tide Talk Live. Uh, make sure you jump in the comments today. Let us know your thoughts on our show. Uh, let us know your thoughts on the three players that are joining Nick Saban in Nashville next week for the 2023 SEC Media Day. So the three players are going to be Kool-Aid McKinstry, Dallas Turner, and J.C. Latham. Uh, I think this was kind of the obvious choices when, when you think about the, the leadership on this team for Alabama. Uh, they might have could have gone Justin Aborgby, a guy who's entering his fifth year uh, as a starter on the defensive line for Alabama. Also, you got guys like Seth McLaughlin on the offensive line, Darian Dalcourt, guys that have been in the program for several years. But to me, it was obvious to pick the three guys who are not only great players, but show great leadership for the team, Kool-Aid McKinstry, J.C. Latham, and Dallas Turner. Let's just kind of talk about Kool-Aid McKinstry for just a minute. Uh, Kool-Aid, obviously, you can make the argument he is the best corner uh, in all the country, uh, certainly probably in the SEC and maybe in, in the country. A guy who's probably going to be a top 15 pick in the 2024 NFL draft. Just a lockdown corner, does a great job of or really closing off one side of the field for, for that Alabama defense. So uh, Kool-Aid McKinstry, it, not only is he a great corner, he was great in punt return last year, almost broke several of them for a touchdown, if you remember. So a guy who can impact the game in more ways than one. And then we obviously know about his leadership abilities, a guy who's just kind of a, does the th all the right things at all the right times and uh, just shows great is a great example for the younger players uh, there on the back end of the defense. Then you keep it on the defensive side of the ball uh, and you look at Dallas Turner, a guy who's entering his junior season, who has started for Alabama since he was a true freshman, uh, you know, maybe had a little bit of a sophomore slump, if you want to call it, last year in 2022. But a guy who, like Kool-Aid, just always does the right things. He's, he's always working. He's always, you know, leading by example. Uh, he's a guy who, who the team really rallies around on the defensive side of the football. So uh, no shock there to see a guy like Dallas Turner you know, kind of taking ownership and leadership of this team uh, and going to SEC Media Days here in 23. And then you look on the offensive side of the ball, J.C. Latham rounding out the list of the three players joining Coach Saban in Nashville. Uh, J.C. Latham is a guy who who probably didn't play enough as a freshman. If you kind of go back in hindsight and look at the, the kind of the – uh, the, the way they struggled a little bit on the offensive line in 2021, you, you probably thought that J.C. Latham maybe should have played a little bit more uh, to get more acclimated to the college game. But then he comes in last year as a true sophomore, uh, holds down the right side for the Crimson Tide at right tackle and and appears to be staying over there on the right side when there were some rumors that he could flip to the left side. But he's going to stay at the right side for now at right tackle, uh, really anchoring that offensive line and, and is one of the great leaders on this team, a guy who who is an emotional leader. He, he gets guys fired up. Uh, he plays hard. He plays physical. And he's really part of the class that that's kind of helping change the, the mindset and the edge of this Alabama football team. So those three guys, I think it's really impressive and interesting to see that three true juniors are going to be joining Nick Saban in Nashville for media day. So guys that, that are upperclassmen, but they're not seniors. They're not fourth-year players. They're not fifth-year players. They are in their third year on campus at the University of Alabama, and they are making great strides not only as ball players but as leaders on the football team. So that is that is great to see, and I'm excited to kind of see what those guys have to say next week in Nashville when they join Nick Saban there at, at the media day. So I uh, just want to kind of give my thoughts on that. I'm excited to see what those guys say. 
I, I think they were the three obvious choices because I think they're three of the best players and they're three of the best leaders on the team. So obviously Coach Saban and his staff, the same thing as well. Uh, so uh, looking forward to seeing what those guys have to say next week in Nashville, along with Coach Saban. I'm sure the conversations are going to be uh, exciting. I'm I'm almost certain that they'll all four be asked about the quarterback competition uh, between Jalen Milrow, Tyler Buckner, and Ty Simpson. So uh, I'm sure there'll be interesting answers there. I'm sure those players are being coached up on, on how they need to respond to such questions. So uh, really excited to see what all those guys have to say because – I think there's question marks about all three of those positions for those players. You know, J.C. Latham along the offensive line. You know, what's that left side of the offensive line look like? Because I think they feel good about from Seth McLaughlin over to the right. You know, they got Seth at center. Uh, right guard is going to be Tyler Booker, and right tackle is going to be J.C. Latham. So I think they feel confident there. But then I'm sure J.C. is going to be asking about left guard and left tackle. Is it going to be Elijah Pritchett and Darren Dalcourt? Where does Caden Proctor fit in? You know, what about Terrence? Uh, Ferguson, does he have a have a chance to make a uh, you know his move his way into the starting lineup? So I think there's some question marks along the offensive line that that JC Latham can kind of tackle next week in Nashville, and then you look at, at Dallas Turner. What is it going to be like replacing Will Anderson on the edge of, of this album of defense? He's back. Chris Braswell's back. Quindarius Robinson's back. Then you have a bunch of young players that don't have a lot of experience, like Keanu Coat, Jeremiah Alexander, uh, Keon Keeley, Yonze Pierre. Uh, so there's a lot of, you know, Quay Rusal. So there's a lot of young talent there on the edge, but you have to replace Will Anderson, perhaps the best defender of the Nick Saban era, a guy that went number three overall in the 2023 NFL draft. And then you look at Kool-Aid and the secondary. Jordan Battle's gone. DeMarco Hellum's gone. You had guys like Kyrie Jackson transfer, Jaquez Robinson transfer. So there, there's guys that are gone. There's going to be a lot of new faces, but also familiar guys like Malachi Moore. Uh, Terry on Arnold is back. So uh, then you bring in guys like Jalen Key and Trey Amos from the transfer portal. Uh, but you have the freshman phenom in Caleb Downs. So Earl Little Jr. has shown to be a guy who has a promising future. So Kool-Aid's going to have some questions to, to answer as well about the secondary in Tuscaloosa. So I think it's kind of fitting that it's that it's players that you can rely on, but it's also players that, it, that are in position groups that have question marks entering the 2023 season. So it's going to be a lot of fun to see what they have to say about all that. I cannot wait for that. And we'll be here every step of the way covering SEC Media Days here at Tide Talk Live. So make sure you do subscribe to our channel, hit that notification bell, and uh, we'll see you really soon. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe today. Jump in the comments and let us know your thoughts on the three players that are joining Nick Saban in Nashville next week for AC Media Days. But that's going to wrap. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you soon. But until then, roll tide.